Today we're testing and reviewing the Teenco A11 Master cordless vacuum. We put it through all of our usual tests and the results were pretty interesting. We have a lot of information to cover with this vacuum, so links in the description for current prices and let's get started. I should mention that Teenco did send me this A11 Master for free to review, but as always I think our test results speak for themselves and leave very little room for bias on my part. So the first thing I noticed while unboxing the A11 Master is that there are a lot of attachments, like more attachments than I've ever seen with any kind of vacuum ever. In addition to the three interchangeable heads, like the standard cleaner head, the soft roller head, and the mini motorized tool, which we'll talk more about later, there was a crevice tool, an upholstery tool slash dusting brush, a really long flexible crevice tool for under appliance cleaning, a soft dusting brush, an extension hose, a flexible multi-angle tube, as well as something I've never seen before, which is a tool you can clean the filters with without having to rinse them. I know Teenco has a ton of patents, but I'm not sure if this is one of them or not. Either way, it's a pretty cool idea. There was also a charging base where you can charge both batteries at the same time, as well as keep at least your favorite tools and cleaner heads stored for easy access. So let's move on to the performance results. On hard floors, it was absolutely amazing. I'll talk more about the differences between the A11 Hero and the A11 Master packages at the end of the video, but the main difference is that the A11 Master includes a soft roller cleaner head, which I honestly think is the future of hard floor cleaning. It picks up everything it touches from ultra fine dust to extra large debris. The tool itself seems well built, and it's really a must if you have a lot of hard floors to clean. The regular cleaner head can clean hard floors as well. In fact, I like to use the regular one if I know I'm going to be transitioning a lot from hard floors to carpet in the same job. The main limitation of the regular head is that it struggles with larger debris on hard floors. On carpet, however, the regular head has no trouble with larger debris. In fact, it does better than most upright vacuums. We also tested its deep cleaning ability where we take exactly 100 grams of sand and embed it into medium pile carpet and weigh the dust bins before and after. The A11 scored an amazing 94%, which is better than the Dyson V8 and the Shark F80 and P50. So in terms of pure floor cleaning ability, the Tinko A11 is amazingly good, like better than just about anything on the market good. Another area where the Tinko excels is with battery life. Keep in mind that both the A11 Hero and the A11 Master come with two interchangeable batteries. Also keep in mind that battery life numbers change depending on what power setting and what attachments you're using. For example, we tested it on low power with a suction only attachment and got 32 minutes per battery. So that would be 64 minutes total runtime, which is better than the Dyson V10 and just about every other cordless vacuum on the market. It's also really good when you consider that on low power, the A11 is actually more powerful than most of its competitors at 27 CFM of airflow. On high power, it got 12 minutes and 37 seconds, which absolutely creamed the Dyson V8 and V10, and that's just with one battery. Obviously, you can double that number since you'll have an extra battery, so that's 25 minutes and 14 seconds of high power cleaning time. The A11 also has premium power. We tested its suction and airflow both at the cleaner head and at the base on low and high power and got these results. Basically, it's very much above average. There are some cordless vacuums like the Dysons that have more airflow on high power, but as we've seen, that extra airflow comes with a cost of a very short battery life on high power, and I saw no major difference in the performance to justify it. On the crevice pickup test, where other cordless vacuums tend to struggle a bit, the A11 picked up the debris in both crevice sizes and basically one back and forth pass with both types of cleaner heads, which is extremely rare and extremely good. Another area where the Teenco beats the Dyson is with noise level. We tested the A11 at 69 dBA on low and 74 on high. This is compared to the Dyson V10 getting 80 and 88, which is quite a big difference when talking about decibels. The A11 is actually a few ounces lighter than the V10, both at the base and at the handle, and I found the weight to be distributed much the same as the V10, which is a good thing. And its maneuverability was good, though the swivel action was not quite as crisp as the V10, but still good. As I mentioned, there are two packages with the A11, the Hero and the Master, and I'll link to both Amazon listings below, but the Hero and Master are using the same vacuum with the same power specs, and they both have two batteries. So besides the color, the difference is that the A11 Master includes the soft roller cleaner head and these additional suction based tools. It's really worth the extra cash in my opinion if you have hard floors as the soft roller head is really great. I should also mention that Teenco is not some fly-by-night company. They've been around for 20 years, they hold a lot of patents, and are actually owned by Equivax Robotics, one of our favorite robot vacuum manufacturers. They also have a pretty good customer service line, which I did call to test. So yeah, the Teenco A11 is really good. It's amazing with hard floors and carpet. It has one of the longest battery run times on the market with its two batteries. It's really powerful and comes with enough attachments and tools 
to make it so much more than just a vacuum cleaner. Links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars to keep up with all the latest vacuums, robot vacuums, and carpet cleaners. Thanks for watching.